Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the Binding of Isaac podcast that covers every item, trinket, character, boss, and everything in the Binding of Isaac series of video games. My name is Gary Butterfield, and with me as always is a Funko on my shelf, Will Hughes. Yeah, Gary, if I was a Funko, what would I be? Uh, you would have the same proportions you have, but you'd be smaller. Okay, Gary, thank you. Uh, a true answer. Mm-hmm. For yeah. once. For once. If a, a person with Funko proportions would actually be pretty scary. Uh, like they'd be dragging their head around. Well, like it's like the same way like any like human anime character would be terrifying to see. Oh, yeah. Like the, the, there's those women who get surgery for that. Have you seen those? I have not, Gary. Boy, there are you're... women who have gotten like plastic surgery to look more anime. You got to hang out on my parts of the internet, man. There's less disturbing imagery. I would love to. I just don't know how to get there. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm, it's like I'm driving around the same fucking shitty Burger King in a neighborhood that's just full of uh, horrible plastic surgery mistakes. Mm-hmm. You know, it's and they, they made a little movie out of it. Plastic surgery high. Uh, Gary, we're talking about pop today. Pop. Yeah, uh, I take it. It's not good. Uh, Gary, same. Just, same on both both counts. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't, doesn't really help. Booster pack three. Uh, uh, hey, you tried, bro. Yeah. Cool idea. Uh, here's a want to hear a little trivia. Uh, can um, we describe the item first? No. We'll forget. No, we'll forget, Gary. We, we always will, we fucking will ha- forget. I will not forget because the trivia leads right into it. You forgot that I'm a segue lord. I forgot that you're the lord of all segues. I use this. You're the item. Michael Flatley of segues. <laughs> I am a Flatley segue. Uh, th- I used this item when it was a modded item. Like I oh. played, I installed the original mod that this item copied off of. Because it looked so cool. Yeah, I was like, oh, that sounds cool. Like anything in a mod that like fucks around with tear effects. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was based on this item called uh, Bank Shot. And turns your eyes into billiard balls. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and that's basically what this does. It still has the sound effects, even though they're just eyeballs now. Yeah. They're, they're grosser. Yeah. Way grosser. But the sound is so pleasant. It is very pleasant. So this is, yeah. uh, it's, the description is eyeball tears, which is uh, a complex thing to think about. Uh, <laughs> what are the other kind? Mm-hmm. Uh, no. Butt tears. Uh, no. Tears of a butt. Cry out of your dick. I don't think uh, well, today. Why would a dick ever cry, Gary? They're so happy. The, because they're so happy. Tears of joy. Gary, you know what? I forget. As as is so often the case, I forgot about the existence of joy. Yeah. Oopsie. <laughs> Oopsie doodle. And uh, popcorn. I haven't cried out of joy in a long time. And popcorn. Um, New printer. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You don't get no. to get that in there. No. No. Um. This cuts your eyes out. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> that assumedly that yes, that's the implication. Certainly that doesn't, that'd be wild. Oh God, Gary, a mod that uh, every transformation, you see the surgical procedure that caused <laughs> yeah. it. You have to watch <laughs> <laughs> like a little picture in picture. Yeah. <laughs> um, but your tears now are a little bigger and they, as they move, they slow down. Uh huh. And they just kind of hang out. And, and their they're eyeballs. Right. And their eyeballs. And their eyeballs. And if they hit each other, they bounce around like uh, billiard balls. Yeah. This is useless. <laughs> the old, So if you have a really high tear rate, uh huh, you can kind of create little danger zones where enemies will have to walk through a lot of your tears. Yeah. That, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not that great. I, have, I, ever, I take this every time. I'm like, this time, I'm going to figure out the use case. Uh-oh. <laughs> So this is the use case is the other use case is uh, synergies. Um, I say this because I've been playing Isaac and breaking greed mode before bed. Um, If you get this with uh, lacrophagy, Mm -hmm. which is something I used to think was neat, but not good. And now I actually recognize is excellent. Okay. Uh, This with lacrophagy is incredible. Yeah. I I am Uh, still in your, I am. My experience of lacrophagy is still the past that you are living in. Yes. Uh, I had to, I got to be lacrophagy pilled. Yeah. Um, um, so yeah, this, it's cool. It's, it's neat and it synergizes well. It's not a good first pick. Yes. Uh, you know, if you have lump of coal, it's good. Um, if you have, uh, like any tier that will go through an enemy without disappearing. So if you have like polyphemus mm-hmm. or something and an enemy can like hang out in a tier for the entire damage. Yeah. Bit, it's good to have them stationary, but like, boy, oh boy. Yeah, because what you kind of end up with is just a bunch of tears, most of the screen away from you, just kind of listlessly floating until they disappear. Yep. 
like like a balloon like you know when you get a balloon and you just leave it until there's hold on gary gary you can't start these amazing improv sequences without giving my imagination time to rev up okay so i have a balloon yes that's the premise of this sketch color um white oh okay uh mauve yay uh and this balloon a lot of the helium is gone shaped or uh is this uh is this just a traditional like round to pair kind of balloon or is this, this one is, that a this clown a has got mylar his hands balloon. on this mylar balloon mylar gary round, you motherfucker you can't balloon. toss mylar you almost just gave me a stroke gary <laughs> the imagination <laughs> is a very precision instrument and you just forced me to take a rubber balloon in my head and make it mylar and i could like feel like firestorm the, the nuclear man it, gary exactly like firestorm the nuclear man one of the cast members for several years on legends uh, of tomorrow DC. Okay. But making um, me making me go from imagining a regular balloon and then imagining a mylar balloon, like I don't think I made you do anything. I didn't say what the balloon was made out of when I first did it. I just said a balloon. Yeah, Gary, I was the I asshole think you made for assuming. Yeah, that. I think you, yeah. you made the the ass out of, of you and you. you well Gary Sumu. Uh if I forget uh what spaghetti is because of this, mm-hmm. that's on you. It's okay. You could, you know, probably eat your share of spaghetti. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, you said it. And you said it because you meant it. I didn't say it because I meant it. I said it because I couldn't you think of anything else it. to say. I don't care how much spaghetti you eat. It I was just like talking about how I've never noticed that you gained weight. Like I literally was having that conversation with you like an hour ago. <laughs> I don't care if you eat spaghetti. I just didn't know what else to say. Um, <laughs> and I defaulted to cruelty. <laughs> What was I supposed to say? Like you could, you could eat some more spaghetti. You're Thank a growing you. boy. Thank like what was you. I supposed to say? Thank you, Gary. <laughs> what a kind, supportive thing to say as friends. Uh, yeah, friends are always telling each other how they're still growing yeah. despite the fact that they're in their late thirties. Yeah, mid to late thirties. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> See now who's now who's being cool. Now who's um, now who's a delusional asshole? No one's. <laughs> but it's like how balloons die. That's what I. That's what I was trying to say. That was of the whole course, Gary. That was the point that we were building towards. If people enjoy yeah. this show, what should they do? I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, it's a good week. This is. I, I like this energy. I'm feeling giggly and sweaty. Uh, you should go to uh, patreoncom slash TV. Get uh, what I'd like to call slacks us. Mm-hmm. See, I've saved us some syllab- syllables there, as well as episodes early and bonus stuff. Yeah, I'm trying to start a thing in the Guppy Slack where we all put, do the daily challenge and post our screens, even if they're bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, so far, that's not picking up a ton of traction, but maybe. Yeah, I should I, I should join you. I've, I've only done a little, fucked around with challenges a little bit. I literally, uh, a couple days ago, like everyone was like, oh man, good Ipecac challenge today. And I died. Uh, I, I It was a polyon <laughs> and I went into the curse room and then took a hit. And I was like, well, uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> I live in here now, I guess. Yeah, I guess I'll just wait out the clock. Yep. Uh, people can also leave a rating or review. Uh, Podcast Addict and Apple Podcasts are the places we are most likely to see those. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Leave a re- review like this one on Podcast Addict from Viria. Hmm. Famed presenter Gary Butterditch and former Australian Prime Minister Billy Hughes team up to give up the internet, give us the internet's premier freshwater aquarium hobby podcast. Everything from guppies to epistogramma, they cover all aspects of the hobby, including species care, aquascaping, and even breeding for fun and money. They made me download Podcast Addict to post this review, even though I use Pocket Casts to listen. Two stars. <laughs> Viria. And that's a five-star review. A pistogram. Pause, then interrupt Gary. Oh. <laughs> and that was a five-star review. Yay. We, we, it's so, uh, I like, you know how in the TV show Loki, mm-hmm. you know how Loki isn't good? He's just there to make other people better. Mm-hmm. Like, we're not smart, but we keep getting these pretty smart reviews. Yeah. Like we're kind of the Lokis of this podcast. I I think which Loki are you? There's a lot of Loki. Girl, in that girl, show. girl. I, well, <laughs> well, her name is Sophie Gary. I know. I watched the show. I'm uh. I don't know. One of those asshole Lokis from the from the fifth episode. You'd be, be the cool like um, post apocalyptic Loki with the motorcycle helmet. Hell yeah, man! That was that, a cool that's Loki. very much my brand. 
Yeah. <laughs> I always think of Will Hughes, the original road warrior. Absolutely. <laughs> Man who once rode a lime scooter for all of 15 feet before eating <laughs> like, the most shit a man ever has. That guy's a real, that guy's a regular toe cutter. That guy. <laughs> End podcast. End podcast.